Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part 26 of an Elder Scrolls Online Standard Edition walkthrough. When we last left off, we had, were looking for the Stones of Cold Fire. Someone had hired us to find them, and she's going to do a ritual that is apparently going to make her immortal. Uh, on the way to gather the Stones of Cold Fire, we ran across a half-naked Nord that was frozen in the middle of nowhere. And now I'm getting attacked by goblins. Uh, so anyway, we dealt with that. Turned out he was working for this dark elf, and she had hired him to escort her somewhere, and he had not done what he was supposed to do. So she had frozen him. So we got that situation under control, and now we can continue looking for the stones of cold fire. There should be one right here. Got to acquire the stone from Rami Milk. Ooh, treasure chest. Uh, by the way, I wondered what had happened to the Nord's pants. And it turned out that his pants were the reward for the quest. <laughs> we got the pants as a reward. Uh, but they gave us Magicka, and this character does not need Magicka, so I just deconstructed them uh, before I started recording. this ore to make some uh, daggers. Hey, don't run away. Come fight! See where the next one is. Guess right here. Here's a lore book. It's basically on the way.
invocation of Azura. Almost there. Let's see what this is. Water hyacinth. I need to learn how to pronounce that flower's name at some point. So close, but all these rocks are between us and the objective. this one be able to follow this road to get there. some flame atronox guarding the place. Some big boss guarding it. Yep.
I went the wrong way. It's in here. Tusanend. Molog Ball is, in Morrowind, the Lord of Brutality. A race of monsters, said to live in Molog Amor, are the result of his seduction of Vivek during the previous era. This always gets kind of confusing. The quest marker shows that I should be going out the door, but that's because there's multiple stones of cold fire, and one of them is inside of here, and the others are outside of here, so it's showing both to leave and stay in here. There should also be a sky shard in here as well, so even after I get to the stone of cold fire, I'm going to want to keep going into here and get the sky shard kill the boss to get the achievement, if I can figure out how to do that. Looks like I got a lead. Let's see if I got a lead here. I could swear that's what I just picked up. showing other stuff. Here we go. Refitted Dwarven Rod. Uh, this is a new feature that was introduced with Greymore. You can now scry for things, but you have to go to Western Skyrim first. So if you don't have Greymore, you can't actually use these leads that you get. <laughs> So I'm not going to do any of that in this walkthrough because this is supposed to be a walkthrough of the standard edition. We made it to the other side of that gate. So we're making progress, slowly but surely. Let's see, I did not intend to do that.
I don't think I've found a sky shard yet. And certainly haven't gotten an achievement. Lots and lots of provisioning supplies. You can make some food with that, cook some food, and sell it for gold. No lore books in here, though. What is this? Okay, that doesn't have anything to do with the dungeon itself. Whoa, this is probably the boss right here. Well, maybe not. I didn't see an achievement. You know what? It may be because I've already done this delve on another character. But that was the completion of the delve right there, I believe. Surprised there's no sky shard, though. I guess maybe this technically isn't a delve. Let's see what it looks like on the map. Okay, so it doesn't show up as a delve, so that explains why. Alright, let's see if I can run past these flame Atronachs. By the way, I'm gonna queue for a dungeon here. I forgot to do that earlier. Uh-oh. The wrong way. So far, so good. Alright, let's see where the next one is. There's one right here. Um, let me try to think what would be the fastest way to get there. I think we should continue on this road. Ancestral tombs. Wrong way there. I need to head west. This is north. I need to go to the way shrine over here. 
guess this is the right way after all. This is a public dungeon just south of us. Public dungeons are made for four people. So if you try to go in this solo, you'll, especially if you're just a leveling character, you will probably die mercilessly. So we're not gonna do that. It's funny, it shows what appears to be roads here. But then I can't seem to find them. Alright, looks like I'm on the road I was looking for. So it looks like the road doesn't quite lead there. But I can go around. If I try to cut straight through, I'm afraid I'm going to run into a big mountain or something. Tell you what, let's see if pick up this point of interest here. Alright, got that. Way shrine nearby as well. I have to grab that on the way out. All right, now where is this entrance? really similar to that Ashlander camp, but I'm not trespassing, so these are not Ashlanders. These are bandits or something. That's the last mistake you'll ever make.
Alright, now maybe... There's the entrance, right there. Still queued in the dungeon finder. Should come up any minute while we're doing all this other stuff. Got another adventurer here clearing the path for us. Looks like a shrine to Moloch Ball. Look at that. Oh, or Stone of Stone of Baller. It looks like Moloch Ball though. What an ugly statue. I'm trying to see, are there any sky shards here? I don't see any though. How many we got left now? <clears throat> well, that's we're not out yet. All right, we've got one. I see one right here. That may be the last one. Once we get that final stone of cold fire, we'll be able to take it back to our client and uh, she'll be able to perform the ritual. See, that shows lore book right here. right dead on it, but apparently it's up there somewhere. This place is crawling with bandits or something. I 
I want to grab this lore book and then go get that way shrine that's nearby. And we can head to get the final stone of cold fire. See, that has led us right back to where we were before. Ah, it's on the other side, right here. Kwama mining for fun and profit. And an empty backpack. Surin Way Shrine. Alright, now. This one is inside of a delve. Let me make sure there's not any others. But it looks like that is the last stone of cold fire. Showing it right over here. Molog Ball's disciples. Hoping I could bypass that other mob and get there. Yeah, it looks like I pulled it off. Ashal Mawia. Alright, that's all for this episode. In the next episode, we'll um, go into Ashal Mawia and try to get 
another stone of cold fire. See you next time.